hi welcome to typing with ashley my name is ashley for here for the first time and this is typing with ashley here we are one big happy family by a big thriving family okay so if you want to join the thriving family if you want to become a thriver today please hit that subscribe button and okay you have you done that so now you're officially a member of the thriving family and to my real ogs thank you so much guys for returning thank you so much for clicking on this video and you're not going to regret it obviously because i always deliver <laughs> i hope everybody's doing great i hope everybody's staying safe i hope you are doing the best you can you can't be everything Thing, but wherever you find yourself just keep on praying and god is definitely going to help you get to your goal destination so without talking too much let's show that intro right now omg it's ashley again subscribe I stick to the okay so welcome back and in today's video i'm going to be talking about what is like living in the caribbean few things you need to know budget ideas and lifestyle as a caribbean medical student if you're interested in listening to this if you're interested in knowing oh what are some things i need to know how can i do this then keep on watching so first things first everything said in this video is going to be based upon my experiences because i don't want anybody going to misquote me so please it's based upon my own experiences and my own personal experience you're done with your admission processes you've gotten the admission to the school you've paid your fees and now you're ready to fly into the island you're ready to touch down this is going to be my home for the next two to three years so first things first the travel And the journey traveling to dominica especially traveling to a caribbean island some caribbean islands are easily accessible some are not like places like puerto rico barbados you can easily take a direct flight from us to arrive there but in a place like dominica when i first went to the island i had to go on a flight from america from america and i had a u.s visa that's why i was able to go to america so if you have a u.s visa the process is different if you have a uk visa the process is different if you have a canadian visa the process is different if you have a nigerian passport then and you don't have any visa then the process is different so for the american process because that is how i frequently travel from nigeria i go to america from america i go to either barbados or any of the islands barbados puerto rico one of them as when my flights usually stop so from barbados i now take a flight that will take me directly to dominica or from puerto rico i take a flight that will take me directly to dominica one thing is that they usually have just one or two flights one in the morning and one in the night going to dominica that's like usually the main issue but i think now they have like a direct flight that goes from us to dominica yay less tedious traveling process that's basically then if you don't have a visa at all like you don't have a nigerian visa you don't have an american visa a uk visa a canadian visa but all you have is a nigerian passport so how you can do this that one is like a three to four day journey depending on where you're going from so i have taken that journey before and i can tell you it's a very stressful journey but first of all you go from nigeria to ethiopia from ethiopia to i think panama from panama to brazil from brazil to trinidad and tobago or whichever island they route you to but i know you pass through like three or four or even five countries before you arrive at dominica so that's also another thing to know so you should know the journey the process is different uk is no different uk is also like the same mechanism as to which us rolls so the process is easier for you that way next thing i feel like before you even go you need to know the exchange rates like of that country You need to know what kind of currency they use there so before you go you've already prepared yourself that okay this is what this is equivalent to in naira this is what is equivalent to in dollar whichever currency you use in your country just know the equivalent in that country like those are the basic things you just need to know so the cost of living i know it varies in different islands but based on my experience the cost of living is quite high i'm not going to lie compared to like other countries like the cost of living is a bit high and i will say this because our currency no biam our currency naira naira no biam so that's what makes it that's what makes it price that's what makes it more expensive so you need to prepare yourself for all these things because sometimes they will hinder you yeah you just need to be very informed about your currency the exchange rate so that you don't go there feeling overwhelmed and that thing is when you go don't go and be converting <laughs> Go and convert your from naira to dollar to eastern caribbean dollar because you will cry you will not eat it's easier for you to convert it to dollar and for you to convert it to naira because once you start converting five five us dollar to naira you say god is this how much i'm buying this thing so don't do that okay don't even try that i know the nigerian in you will not agree but at least try your <laughs> you get used to it because it will pain you it will really pain you but yeah that's by the way so next thing is um 
rent now rent in dominica is it depends on where you want it actually places that are closer to town places that are in town are much more expensive than places that are away from town so they have different like parishes different regions so depending on the one you want to depending on where you want to live in rent varies so let's say this is a a is in the town like this is community a, a is in the town the rent might be like 500 dollars then away from town like far not too far but like 15 20 minutes or even 30 minutes away you pay lesser so depends on the area of your house depends on where you're living you pay more or you pay less okay so rent varies you just need to do your research contact the school if they will help you find a place you can even message students you can send students message that do they know about this do they know about that just find your way network you know talk to people yes that's it for rent so just know that the rent varies i cannot tell you how much to expect to pay because i paid different amounts based on where i was living next is feeding so they have like their markets, they have grocery stores where you can go to buy food. You know they import things, you know they bring things from other countries and that's what makes things expensive because they add shipping costs and duty taxes and all of those things. So that's why some things might seem very, very pricey. It's not as if they just want the price to be like that, but like there's factors affecting the price, you know, in the country. So feeding, I would say feeding is not all that expensive. If you want to go there and cook your Nigerian food, you can carry food, like food items from Nigeria over there. Or if you want to go there and buy, they have markets where you can go to shop. I feel like sometimes the markets are even cheaper than going to the grocery store. The grocery store is for like basic things that you're not finding in the market. Yeah. So transportation, transportation, their main transportation is either cars or buses. So there's taxis, there's buses, but the main, main one like we use is buses. So depending on your area, the bus pricing is different but it's fixed but it's different depending on the area you live in so that's another another thing that's how like life there is so they use mostly buses taxis you don't find there's taxis everywhere right but taxi pricing varies because everybody has their own way of calculating their own right this guy might collect 15 to 20 dollars to take you from let's say a 30 minutes place a 30 minutes drive to town that's how much you might collect and that bus might take 15 so it depends on you and your relationship with the driver or the driver itself so taxi prices vary transportation is basically buses and yeah people that have their motorcycles use them students that have cars use their cars next is finding houses finding houses can be a very difficult task especially if you don't know anybody then my very stressful draining and trust me i don't want to go to my housing stories but housing issues oh my god you just need to be very careful when you're finding a house you need to open your two eyes you need to look well because there's some houses that they can say it's 300 dollars and it's not even worth the price at all but because of the location of the house you might have to pay that amount so you need to know the location and where exactly is it that you want to live and you go and find houses based on there and i'll tell you and that things don't sit and wait for people to bring you offers and say oh there's this house or see this post in the group chat you need to stand up and move around how i found my last house i was just casually taking a stroll with my friends and feel like this house looks empty let's just go and you know knock and see if somebody asks house that was how we we're able to find the house and that's how we we're able to you know link up with the landlady and stuff like that so you need to move around go door to door ask people questions if you cannot then you find other measures but this is like the advice i can give you when trying to find the house the location matters and also prices may vary so you just need to be careful you need to open your eyes move around and check for how this then that's that there my basic routine was like waking up, taking the bus to school. Before COVID, school buses used to come to our house and because we had like cards or like bus tickets that we used to use to go to school. So that was before COVID. But after COVID, we used to now take cars. But I think the buses are running now because, you know, COVID has died down. So yeah, before COVID, we had like bus tickets and then depending on where you live, the school goes to, the bus goes to pick people living in a further distance, first of all, before going to pick people living in a closer distance. So yeah that was like transportation for school so my last i would basically wake up go to school eat lunch in school after school probably if i if i subscribe for the gym i'll go to the gym and then from there i'll go home so i carry my gym things in my bag so that i don't waste transport and go home and come back again to town so life down there is basically chill is there's no snow obviously like it's an island it's like hot lifestyle so it depends on the season okay so there's usually like hurricane seasons 
and they just usually like very sunny season so depending on the season they have different seasons in the year and the safety i can tell you that sometimes i cannot walk out of my house by like 11 p.m 10 p.m 12 p.m but there like i can easily like walk i can walk on the road by 10 11 p.m 12 p.m and not be overly scared except like maybe all these men you see on the road now but then like the safety if i'm comparing it to nigeria the safety level is like 70 percent in my opinion okay that's it for safety and then nature obviously they have like hurricane threats they have tropical storm warnings so pick a house that is hurricane proof so that you don't have to suffer during hurricane period and just be prepared like they'll give you prepared preparedness programs and awareness then you also see like ferry ships it's obviously a tourist place so you see you see ships they use ferries to go to neighboring island then and that thing i wanted to mention is ordering online Ordering online is quite expensive because you have to pay like you have to clear your items and clearing those items will co actually cost a lot sometimes you have to pay like times two or half of what you've already paid to order that thing so sometimes you just put me off and i don't even want to order anything so i just felt like i needed to put this one out there ordering online if you have the money to like you know pay half of the amount you've already spent then go ahead but someone like me beg my money is important <laughs> yeah and another thing is landlord situation make sure that anybody is telling you about the house you're looking at pictures and don't even believe the picture that you see online because oh my god it's another story time for another day because my experience oh damn it <laughs> but yeah don't believe in pictures go and see for yourself that's why i said see for yourself you know it's better to see than for people to be sending you pictures from here and there pictures are misleading because the house they can send you a house before hurricane you can send you a picture of a house before the hurricane and after the hurricane is looking so different so yeah pictures don't really focus on pictures the weather and climate i already said the earlier it varies so yeah listen to the weather forecast because it really help you know how to plan yourself then there's also fun things to do but it's also remember why you're there but there's not a lot of things to do in dominica except like you're someone who is really interested and genuinely interested in nature then you really enjoy your stay there but they have like tourist attractions if you do your research you find some i think i have some up on this channel you can check them out i also want to do some nice things so all, all you like whatever is fun to you you can create opportunities for yourself you can create fun memories for yourself so it depends on you basically and yeah basically that's it to like that's how life is there in dominica so this everything i said is based on studying in the caribbean precisely dominica so this is basically how like the lifestyle was there so if you want more information because there's some things i just can't share in this video send me a dm on my instagram and then we can talk about it from there so if i do not answer your questions my instagram dms are open thanks so much for watching this video i hope you really understood because i said like it's my own experience yours might be different so and as much as you're studying try to develop yourself go out and see places go out and see places me like sometimes the beach was my best friend if i'm angry i just walk from my house and i picked a house close to the beach sometimes it's not good especially during hurricane period but yeah just you know take out time and take care of yourself you're living in another man's land so you need to be able to adapt to their own lifestyle it's not going to be easy it took me a while before i was able to adapt fully everything so just take your time you don't have to all figure it out immediately most of these things i figured it out like last year last two years there's some things i didn't know i could do so it's just all about you stepping out of your comfort zone and living your best life so thank you so much for clicking on this video i hope you enjoyed it and don't forget to hit that subscribe button to become a thriver if you've not already subscribe button and yeah like this video share all that good stuff and i'll see you next time bye